time. Hi, welcome to What's So Funny. This is the talk show where you're going to get to see uh, some of your favorite comedians performing their most honest and revealing material to get the truth behind the comedy. We are going to interview them afterwards with myself and the psychologist. I think I'm the perfect host for this show because I got tremendous problems. It's embarrassing at times when you live with someone who has a PhD because my stress at times will stop me from, from listening. And I'm in a relationship with someone who listens professionally, okay? It gets frustrating at times. I went to Vegas recently for my brother's bachelor party, right? I gotta make that little check-in call that you make when you go out of town and you're in the relationship. Ooh, I call her from Vegas, this is what she says. You don't sound like yourself. <laughs> I feel like we're off. I'm like, uh, maybe that's because nine of my friends are in the other room yelling faggot. <laughs> I mean, for example, um, put, putting a, a dildo between your your tits. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and blowing your, your brains out. Yeah. That's uh, it's a thought you actually had. My, with my luck, the gun would misfire, and I had the really embarrassing experience of untaping a dildo for my tits. There was no way to do that and not feel like a silly goose. Ow! Oh! Ow! Dildo's hanging haphazardly. The phone rings. It's your mother. What are you doing? Ah, you wouldn't believe it. Do you ever think about trying to turn it outward a little bit more? Maybe voice it in those moments uh, when you're angry at somebody in, in an appropriate way? Yeah, it's, well, that's the key. In appropriate ways, where I have problems. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know how to. I, I don't know how to say to a girlfriend like, "I don't like when you do that." It just kind of builds up and comes out as cunt. Click. <laughs> It struck me that, that you, you seem a little bit angry and you're mentioning the, the thing about humor. If you're offended by humor, I hope you die in a fire. <laughs> well, let me thing. stop you there, Jim. That's the ang I know it's subtle anger, but that's what I'm talking about. So you're wrong, but you take it to such an extreme level. I'm just curious if that really happens in your mind. You wish somebody would... Be paralyzed the yes, way exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know you're a fan of the ladies of the night. What makes you happier? The fact that you're paying for it or the fact that they leave the second you're done? Um, no, I'm paying for their acting. I don't, Charlie Sheen paid for them to leave because he's fucking Charlie Sheen. I pay for them to show up and I pay for them to not do this when they see my tits. Ugh. That's what I pay for. I pay for them to remain neutral. <laughs> I've never seen a, hu a human being get more rewarded for being <laughs> a loser. I mean, how does it make you feel that these guys are, are supporting this behavior so much? That uh, makes me worried for them and the family. <laughs> snort heroin, so I shit my pants a lot. And only do cocaine if you're good looking. It sucks doing cocaine when you're ugly. Because every time you do a line, you gotta see your fucking face in the mirror. <laughs> you know, you're like, mm. holy shit! There's the whole reason I'm getting high in the first place. Why do you, why do you think it continues, Artie? I mean, obviously you've had a lot of success in your career lately. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, what would a what would a completely sober Artie's sound like? like? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I've been completely sober since I was about like I, I hit a double in Little League in 1978. Are you sometimes glad that you've actually done coke because it give you so much material? <laughs> Well, I was in rehab with a kid once who said a real profound thing about coke. He said, the best part about cocaine is going to get it. <laughs> Everything else sucks, man. <laughs> Running out of it is the most suicidal feeling, you know. Oh, you ever just look at yourself naked in a full-length mirror and you want to fall on a knife? <laughs> you noticed the no-top lip. You made a comment at a roast once. Oh, yeah, what I did. did I, had, I don't know. I don't, you don't remember? No, I don't, but I like the way you kind of hide like it. I look like a burn victim, you oh. said. <laughs> Like the first time I went to AA, I don't have a chin, I have a knee in the middle of my face. Uh, I'm a major stress case. <laughs> and Jim, you little fat-pitted, mediocre nothing! 
I got this insecure fear that... Well, guys, wait till you see the nuttiness that ensues after this set. Hope it's not too late. Shrink's got a lot of work today. 